I'm not the same person I used to be then. I don't know who you are. <laughs> I've never been this person. No. I've always been sick. Yeah. Going from being disabled for 37 years plus to all of the sudden <laughs> being able uh, was actually more than a challenge that I could ever ever have seen coming. I'm heading to the store to grab boxes because today I am heading to my storage, if you will, where my stuff is to sort, throw out, put out for sale. And uh, also, I was not expecting to be homeless for five months. So I don't have sneakers. I don't have my summer dresses. I got a winter wardrobe and winter shoes. So that needs to <laughs> be swapped out today. Now I need something to snack on, which always leads me into the wrong section. There you go. Hi! <laughs> may I, may I come out, please? That was great! Uh, this is called a spark in Norway. What is called in your country? Just for curiosity, if you even know what it is. It's a transport mill for uh, people without cars on snow and ice. So now you know that. And I'm sparking to them. Yeah, kick sledge. Oh yeah, I asked Karl and Kalle to do sledge now. For it was all folk from free lines, isn't it? I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> what's the tank? Uh, uh, what does what do you call it? If you even know what it is, ah. and if you don't know, it's a transport <laughs> mill for people. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, car. <laughs> it's a transport mill. Yeah. The Norwegian brother from the perfect English talking sister is not the <laughs> uh, best uh, in the, this English. Yes. Uh, very many people from this country actually talk like this when they talk English and that sounds just very bad. Mommy loves you! Hi kitty kitty! Hi kitty kitty! Oh, hello, hello, This is my stuff. Here it is. This is my inheritance, and I am sorting through a lot of this today. Coffee, ah? good. Coffee. 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 Yeah. Mm. Skruva. Juletre saga. Det er den eneste grunnen til at jeg har sang. <laughs> saga for å felle juletre. Ja. Mm -hmm. Om det er så kjekt, så får han smøy. Trykker du. Kameramann var det veldig å tenke på. Ja, det var det.
Men det er absolutt altså kjekt å ha en pikkert. Det var det helt kjekt. Hva det var du med? Kameramann. Ja, ja, kameramann. Ja. It's pretty compressed right now, but I will have to take another day to go through all the boxes and sort. Lumberjack style. Det man tror også er det 16 år enn å skåre. Ja, det er spesielt mellom 14 år. Derfor går den! Bye bye! Glass! Skal ha ditt! Oh, så stor den! Det har sikkert sett sine bære dager. Det var en veppert! Ja. Å faen, det var god! Var den det? Det var jævlig god! Og det var kanskje en liste greit blød! Ja! If this were six months ago or a year ago, would I have been able to do what I'm doing today? No. Would I be this happy? No. <laughs> would I be this energetic? No. I wonder what happened. <laughs> he doesn't recognize me. <laughs> it's a cyst. It's a cyst. It's a bubble. Cyst. Cyst bubble. Not cancer. Not cancer. It's a cyst bubble. I have, don't have so much lung cap uh, capacity. No. I used to have asthma. <laughs> and I say that. I used to have. Mm -hmm. I haven't had you that. You used to have a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have a lot that kept me from doing whatever. And now I'm just standing here full of energy after doing all that thing. All those things. Bare feet. Bare feet on the ground. That never happened before. So no! <laughs> I, can I can tell something that's very fascinating. She could sit out in 25 degrees Celsius and freeze. And freeze. Now it's 10 degrees Celsius and she's barefoot. It's actually a little warm. Yeah, no. <laughs> Yeah, so, so you would say that I'm not the same person I used to be then? I don't know who you are. <laughs> I look like Lily, but I, I don't really act like Lily. I've never been this person. No. I've always been sick. Yeah. That's pretty fascinating for you, isn't it? It's the reason <laughs> I'm... Stim. He's speechless, <laughs> which doesn't happen very often with this gene pool. It takes a lot to shut us up. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, that's my new life for you. And it's only, you know, continuing. It's getting better and better. Yeah? Uh -huh. I think I'm over the hump now where I, I'm surprised. I'm just really enjoying it. So. It's very clearly you're enjoying it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. So. Oh no. The coffee. Oh. Don't spill the coffee. Cat hair? Yeah. My cat sheds. It's spring. I found a flower today, so yeah, it's definitely like spring. <laughs> <laughs> that is what I brought from the basement. But some uh, some of this is for my mama. She's gonna get, get some of my fabrics that I'm just never going to use. We're gonna ball up some of her yarn. And she doesn't have the equipment for that. I do. I am a retired knitting designer, <laughs> so I got I got some yarn and I got, you know, the equipment. Um, and I got some tools because I want to really, I really, really, really want to start making some jewelry and I want to use natural materials, so I'm going to start with a few bits of silver, a Dremel, and it makes me all excited when I see it because I wanted to make jewelry since I was like, yeah, just a little shorter than I am today. I'm not a very tall person. I'm more fill, I'm, I'm more filled out outwards than upwards. <laughs> oh my god, this vlog is going super. So, like you saw, there weren't any furniture there. There's just one table uh, like this uh, that I actually built myself. Uh, I have a rocking chair that I inherited from my great grandmother. I have a spinning wheel that I have inherited. Uh, it was from my great-great-grandmother, we think. But I will be going back uh, to go through it all, sort it even better, because when I when I packed, um, 
I wasn't just becoming homeless, I was sick with COVID for the first time. I was full of fever, I had like 40 degrees Celsius in fever. My head was not in a good space because I knew that I was about to get homeless. And you can imagine that combination not being very good. So I just stress packed it all and left and spent two days in a car recovering from COVID and that mental... Uh, and just coming up here and just realizing very quickly that this was not going to be an easy ride. It's going to take a while. So that's that. Uh, I think that's it for today. I am going to make myself a pizza now. Uh, so that's pizza two days in a row. That's not good. But that's what happens when I am not feeling a-okay with my PTSD. I stress eat, which is also why I've gained 20 kilos for the past three years so. But we're getting better. And also, seed nutrition is helping, so. <laughs> but that is not going to be an excuse to keep eating junk. But I am having pizza two days in a row, so no further comment. Are you kidding me? That is so beautiful. Wow. I thought I was going to share more of the conversation with my brother in this video because there's a lot to say. I've been on this planet for 38 years and 38 years can't just be summarized in two or three minutes for people's entertainment on YouTube. So I figured I would make that into a video on its own. So that's sort of like the follow up to this one. I will say though that going from being disabled for 37 years plus to all of the sudden <laughs> being able uh, was actually more than a challenge that I could ever, ever have seen coming. I thought it would be a piece of cake. I thought that lucky buggers who have their health intact you do not know uh, what it's like being chronically ill and although that's true I came from a point not knowing what it was like having been chronically ill going from that and to what I am now <laughs> and I just I realized not too many weeks ago that I had taken my own future for granted and I had taken good health for granted because I honestly did not think that this would ever happen to me. I did not see this coming. And I am so glad I got that perspective. <laughs> oh wow. I just... I feel so rich knowing what life is like on both sides, if that makes any sense. And if you're just on one side and you haven't tried the other, then you can't imagine. It's like... A doctor can be an expert in um, their field, but until they've actually tried what they're reading on the page, all they have is knowledge from the page, if that makes any sense. And I just... You cannot compare text and words that you hear to the actual experience. And I'm not even going to try. Uh, I've said it numerous times over the past... Uh, 37 years that I've been alive. You can imagine being sick with a cold or the flu for your entire life, but people can't imagine that because they know that they're going to get well. Just because you are on one side doesn't mean that you can't get over to the other. So for example, for me, I was chronically ill for 37 years of my life. I had no idea I would ever be here where I am today, being able to, to work and climb mountains heights <laughs> without almost getting out of breath. Uh, there are no more symptoms of what bothered me left. <laughs> uh, and I keep getting to this point where I <laughs> get emotional about it because, wow, <laughs> that is just pretty fucking amazing. I'm very emotional these days, <laughs> in case you haven't noticed. Oh.